Thanks, John. Well, since we've been on air, the Ministry of Defence have been on the phone. They obviously saw our drone and they wanted to tell us that their tornado jets have been taking aerial pictures of the flooded areas today too to aid a coordinated response. These are some of the images they've taken. Well, in Worcestershire, where the River Severn is reaching record levels and is expected to peak over the next 24 hours, many residents whose homes are not yet underwater still fear they soon could be. Our reporter Fatima Manji has been taking a trip down the river from Worcester to Tewkesbury, where she's been visiting a stranded pensioner she contacted yesterday. Here's her report. In the shadow of the Malvern Hills, the River Severn is at record-breaking levels, picturesque, but creating problems everywhere it flows. Tewkesbury, a town that knows flooding all too well, having been hit badly in 2007. Parts are already underwater, others bracing themselves, sandbags still a defence. But some, like Bob Bozeman, have had to be rescued. Molly. Molly. He wasn't leaving without his companion. Okay, lad, here we go. Further down the Severn in Upton, we return to the now island home of Harry Gaunt. Yesterday, he told us on the phone, he and his daughter had been stranded for nearly a week. We haven't been able to get in or out because the roads are blocked off. So we decided we'd have to go to him. Well, the water shows no sign of abating, but we've come back with better equipment and a load of supplies. Yeah. Lovely to meet you. Yes, and you. Oh, you've got a wet hand. Yeah, I have, yeah. <laughs> nice I've to been meet you. I've been trying to just do the garage and trying to get it sorted. Keep both feet on the ground and just keep walking this way. OK. And hold that gate there. He showed us the extent of the damage and how the water is dangerously close to seeping in. Most of it is kept out using meticulously monitored pumps. But the water's still getting in there somewhere and I just can't fathom out where it is. Yeah. Now, we've yeah. got a few bits and bobs for you here. Look. Oh, you are good. Got a bit of bread, some That's milk. It. And some we, ice buns, because oh. we thought you might fancy a treat. <laughs> what is it like when you come out here and you see your whole house surrounded by this? Well, as I say, it's just frightening. You don't know what to do. You're on your own. Um, you've just got to make, make the best you can. It's like we could have given up in the house. We're up every hour or half an hour, keep checking the pumps and looking out the windows to see if the water's coming up and preparing for a getaway just in case. With no other help on hand, the arrival of vital supplies came as a relief. You've made a miserable man happy, I can believe you believe me. Thank you. Ah <laughs> oh dear, not too worry.